Adept to dispo speed now. Are you sure? Help! He's out of the ring! Ah! Looks like you're the one with nowhere to run. to dispo speed now. Are you sure? Help! He's out of the ring! Ah! Looks like you're the one with nowhere to run.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to La Tansy Field, home of the Campbell Spartans, who stand here tonight hosting the Westlake Lions in the first of a three-game series to close off region play. It's been a rough couple of past two weeks for the Spartans, but they're looking to turn that round tonight with a win in game number one against the Lions. Take a quick moment to look at the Spartans defensive lineup for this one. At first base will be number 23, Alex Johns. At second base will be number four, Braden Lightsey. At shortstop will be number 17, William Blosser. At third base will be number 36, Nathan Taylor. And left field will be number seven, Ethan Lamphere. And center field will be number two, Joel James. And right field, Number 14, Milo Kennedy. Doing the catching for the Spartans, number 21, Lucas Grantham and his battery mate. And the starting pitcher for the Spartans tonight, number 35, Boomer Dunn. The Spartans just finishing their warm-ups tonight. Coming off a rough series last time against the East Coweta Indians. Looking to fare better here. And it starts on the mound with Boomer Dunn, with like the rest of the team, and an uncharacteristically rough outing against these Coweta Indians. His last time out, so he's looking for a good rebound start here tonight. And back to the way he's been pitching pretty much all year, which has been essentially nonstop dominance. Just getting these last throws in. It was. Last time out, Dunn looked like he didn't really have as much mastery of the strike zone as he usually did. His control looked a bit off. So now looking to try and nail down those corners tonight. Spartans wearing their black uniforms, white pants, black jerseys, black on blue hats, blue lettering, and numbers outlined in white with a Cleveland style C in the left, upper left corner with a Spartan logo. Westlake kind of going an inverse palette. Blue jerseys, gray pants, white lettering and numerals, no outline, black hats, and Westlake across the chest. The throw down to second, and we are set to get underway. Naeem Foster, the left fielder, will lead it off for the Westlake Lions. The lefty will dig in and be the first test. Or done. So Foster digs in. Fire says, let's go. Dunn gets on the mound, comes set. Starts his motion. Game on. We're underway. First pitch gets away to the backstop. Ball one. On comes set is the 1-0 pitch. Swung on fouled away by Foster. Now went in on his hands. Could only fight it off. It's an overcast day tonight. Wondering if we would even get to play a game tonight. It was raining a good part of the morning. The 1-1 pitch in there for strike two. Had some scattered showers throughout the afternoon, but it's cleared up. And the field has dried up enough for us to play. It's now a 1-2 to Foster. There's the pitch. And it hit him, but he swung. He fouled it off. Can be called a foul ball. Yeah, hit Foster on the hands. Just kind of swung out of a reflex. 
I'll check to see if he's all right. Getting checked on by three. First batter and already got an extended stoppage of play here. Foster appears to be okay. But he Foster puts his club back on and gets the bat back. So he'll step back into the box. And it appears Foster will not be able to continue. So he will get taken out. And he'll get switched out for a different batter. It will be number 31, Austin Hubbard, who will come in for Foster. So you'll inherit that one-two count. And Hubbard already starting with a bit of a hole here. With a one-two count. He steps in. Don looks in, has his sign, comes set. There's a one two. It's outside, ball two. Tried to get him to chase that fastball. Hubbard held up. Count even at two balls and two strikes. Done set. Swung on, chopped away foul by Hubbard. Lights it off just to stay alive. There's another 2 2. Got Hubbard swinging. Strike three. Strike out to start the game for Boomer Dunn. Oh, so Hubbard is set down on strikes. Want to bring up the shortstop, Cedric Langford. Base is empty, one out. I'm comes set. First pitch to Langford. Hit too short. Losser up with it. Throw across the first. In time to get Langford for out number two. We'll bring up the DH DJ McKinnon. And then steps in. Two down. First pitch from Dunn. Outside, but one. One on the count. The pitch. That ball two. Look, that could have been a little bit too high. 2-0 on McKinnon. That one's low, ball three. Three zero on Dunn, come set. That one's in there for a strike. Three balls and one strike. One fouled away 
by McKinnon. Now a full count of 3 2. Full count, three balls, two strikes. I'm called by McKinnon. We're going to start this game in the one, two, three inning. McKinnon, a righty back in. Down back on the rubber, comes set. Payoff pitch on the way. Just fought off by McKinnon. He'll stay alive. The full count payoff pitch on the way from Dunn, who's set. Here it is. Got him looking. Strike three. McKinnon knew it. He's rung up for the third out. One, two, three. Go the Lions in the top of the first. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Spartans coming up the bat when we get back right after this. Back to the Tansy Field for the bottom of the first. Take a quick look at the Spartan batting order. To lead it off, of course, will be the center fielder, Joel James. Following that will be the second baseman, Braden Lightsey. And it'll be William Blosser hitting in the third spot today. Lucas Grantham will hit cleanup. Alex Johns will hit fifth. Milo Kennedy will hit sixth. Ethan Lamphere will hit seventh. Jaden Knight will hit eighth. And Nathan Taylor will hit ninth. So once again, that's James, Lightsey, Blosser, Grantham, Johns, Kennedy, Lamphere, Knight and Taylor, and will be led off by Joel James. And on the mound, the Spartans will have to face will be Kyler Glenn. Well, James will be up first, got that average up above 300. He's had a pass good week and a half or so. First pitch from Glenn to James. And it's high, ball one. Two of the count on James. pitch. Ooh, on the outside corner. Called strike one. That one way outside in the other batter's box. 3-1. Three balls and a strike on the Campbell center fielder. 
Lynn. Three one skips up in there. Ball four. And the motion doesn't really have a coming set. Just puts the ball in his glove and goes. Interesting motion. Lead off walk for James. It'll bring up Lightsey. So James will stand there at first. And with Glenn having a see if he shortens up his delivery a little bit. Now he comes set. First pitch to Lightsey. Hits him on the back. Back to back free passes for the Spartans. That'll bring up Blosser, who's hitting third. He's also been picking up heat at the plate the past few weeks. Good time to show that with runners at second and first. Nobody out. First pitch from Glenn to Blosser. Up and away, ball one. Catcher out to talk with Glenn on the mound. Infield will come in. Glenn's looked a touch off on the location to these first three hitters with a walk and then a hit by pitch to Lightsey on the first pitch. Looks like he hasn't exactly settled in quite just yet. Let's see if the Spartans can't take advantage of it. I'm lost. I'd expect fastball here. There's something over the heart of the plate. You can turn on, send out to left field. It was a 1 0. He had the pitch, but he took it for strike one. So an even 1 1 count. James takes off the pitch, a ball. It'll be a double steal throw down to second at Lightsey, and they're going to get Lightsey at second. So this, they went to second instead of third and got Lightsey. That'll be out number one. But the first run of the ball game is 90 feet away and one down now. Blosser can put one in play here. Might be a chance James could score. 2-1. Right back to the, mount, the mound and off the pitcher. And Blosser's going to be safe. James now coming to the plate. He hesitated a little bit. And he's going to be out at the plate. It was a quick hesitation by James. And let's see if Glenn's okay. He took one off his hit for that area. Be a hit for Blosser, but James thrown out at home. Couldn't tell if he slipped or thought the original play was going to come home. Because the ball deflected off of Gleb and it was the first baseman who picked it up. And instead of looking back, it was Arnold, the first baseman picked it up and went right to the first base bag to try and beat Blosser. There was no play there. And that's when James decided to break home. Arnold turned around and fired to the plate in time to get him for the out. Already two runners thrown out on the base pass for the Spartans. Blosser aboard at first and Grantham steps in with two outs. First pitch from Glenn to Grantham. Inside, ball one. Loss with a big lead over there at first. That ball got a little bit further away from the catcher. He might have considered taking off. One zero -oh, inside, two zero. -oh. Two balls and no strikes to Grantham. Inside, 3-0. Three, oh. three misses inside 
a Glenn to grant them. Frio taking all the ways in there for a strike. A 3-1 now. one -oh sent. Blosser took off, and it's sent out into right center field. Blosser around second, ending for third. He's going to be sent to the plate. The ball rolls to the cutoff, man. They're going to get Grantham at second before Blosser can score. <laughs> Three outs on the bases in the first inning, and that one will not get in. That one looked closer than the other two. But nonetheless, that will end the first. Nothing, nothing score will end to the second right after this. to Latanzi Field for the top of the second. Done getting his final warm-up pitches here. Just got shown a recorded playback of that play at second base. And personally, I disagree with the call, but nothing you can do about it now. Still a nothing-nothing nothing score here in the second. When we're done with one, two, three in the first with two strikeouts. Looking for similar success here. Bryce Thomas, the third baseman. They'll lead it off for the Westlake Lions. Done comes set. First pitch on the way to Thomas. Swung on and missed. Way on in front of a breaking ball. Strike one. One, that one just missed. Looks like a changeup. Had him out in front again. Strike two. It's pretty easy to try and blow one by Thomas here. Had him out in front of two of these now. One, two, the count. Unset. There's the pitch. Steady went with another breaking ball, and Thomas hits it up the middle and into center field for a base hit. So a leadoff single for Bryce Thomas. And the first base runner aboard for the Lions. It'll be Corey Forsten, Fortson, the center fielder. He'll dig in, runner on first, nobody out. Thomas leads, a pretty good lead. 
First pitch to Fortson, fouled away. No balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Well, no one looked. I think it missed high. Ball one. Now an even 1-1 one, one count. That one catches his own strike, too. So one, two, the count on Fortson. Sun comes set. Runner takes off and now almost got him picked off and they might have him. And John's going to get him at first base. Thomas strayed too far off the bag. Looked like he was going to try and steal, kind of jumped the gun. Dunn noticed, fired over to first and picked him off. <laughs> Bad base running thus far for both teams. Now there's one down, and base is empty for Fortson. Gun comes set. Hit out to right. Kennedy breaking back. That's going to get over his head and get all the way to the wall. Fortson cuts the bag at first. Kennedy up with it, throws it in to Lightsey, and it'll just be a double for Fortson. So right after that, base runner. At first was a race. That's a double for Fortson. Now there's a runner in scoring position for the Lions with one out. That will bring up the first baseman, Averell Arnold. Fortson from second. Done. Come set. First pitch to Arnold. Outside, I guess. Ball one. Looks like a pretty good pitch to me. <laughs> one oh pitch from Dunn. That one's outside, ball two. To Oda Arnold. Fortune gets a couple looks from Dunn. That one chopped on the ground to third. Taylor will let a bounce foul. They strike one. Now two balls and a strike. Fortson still leading from second. Dunn two looks at him. Pitch to Arnold. Foul away. Two and two at count now. Arnold digs back in. Dunn comes a long look to Fortson. Now a second one. Runner takes off. Now checks back. Ooh, just high. Ball three. Now full count to Arnold. 
second batter that's drawn a full count on Dunn. It was one of the problems he encountered last week. Usually Dunn works pretty good efficient efficiency. Got him to really high amounts of full counts. And sees Kawita last week. Trying to avoid similar here. Swung on and missed strike three. That was a big strikeout for out number two. And down goes Arnold. That will bring up the second baseman, Justice Morrison. Now he hits with that runner still in scoring position. Two outs now, though. Rain is starting to fall here now. Told you it's been on and off pretty much the whole day. First pitch to Morrison. Strike one. On foul away. That one fouled away and a quick 0-2 to Morrison now. I'm trying to strand that runner at second base by putting Morrison away. There's the 0-2. Fortson finally takes off the pitch of ball. They got him. Another runner thrown out for out number three. A bad base running continues through an inning and a half. That will end the, the top of the second, will end at the bottom. Still a nothing, nothing score when we get back right after this. Tansy Field, as mentioned just before, light rain starting to fall here. Keep an eye on it. Field is getting noticeably more muddier, but right now it's not going at a enough volume to shut this game down. Like I said, we'll keep an eye on it. <coughs> Still a nothing, nothing score. Alex Johns will lead it off for the Spartans. It's become the primary first baseman. It's usually the position he plays when he's not pitching. Has had a good deal of work hitting this year too. Over the Mendoza line. <clears throat> now he digs in here. Bases empty. Nobody out to lead off the bottom of the second. Nothing, nothing score. First pitch from Glenn. Swung on and missed. Strike one. John's out in front of it. <clears throat> There's the 0 1. That one's outside. Ball one. <clears throat> oh. 
One ball, one strike. That one low, it looked like. Two balls and a strike. It was a breaking ball, it looked like. John's held up off of it. Glenn right back to it. The 2 1 skied in the air to the right side, but it will get out of play foul. Fortson runs out of room, or Arnold runs out of room, excuse me. It'll be strike two. Milo Kennedy waits on deck. 2-2 two -two on the way. And a dirt ball three. A full count to lead off the inning for Gled. Full count, three balls, two strikes. Payoff on the way. And above Johns' head to lead off walk, ball four. Started both innings with a walk. Hopefully Johns does not get thrown out on the base pass like the last guy to lead off the inning with a walk did. Matter of fact, all three outs came on the base pass for the Spartans' last inning. And a throw out on a steal attempt at second. And a throw out at home. And another throw out at second, trying to turn a single into a double. There's Kennedy now, first pitch to him. In there for a strike. Oh, one pitch. That went behind. Kennedy had hit him, and he'll take his base. So this inning starting eerily similar to the first as the leadoff batter walk, and then the batter that followed was hit by a pitch. It'll bring up Lamphere. Let's hope the inning continues like the first in some aspects. So Lamphere can have a hit similar to how Blosser did in this spot. And so both the base runners can stay on the bases. And we come home, score the first few runs of the game. Two on and nobody out for Lamphere. Excuse me, other way around. No out, two on for Lamphere. He squares around a bunt. The pitch goes way over the catcher's head. Everybody's going to move up 90 feet. Now two runners in scoring position. John's at third, Kennedy at second now. Right fear the lefty. He'll try to bunt again, no, he'll swing away. That one high ball two. So two balls and a strike now. To Lamb Fear, the left fielder. Glenn set. That one just catching in the outside corner. Strike one. Two one lamp here now. There's the pitch. That one outside. Looked a little bit up. Three balls and one strike. <clears throat> Tonight, the DH will follow them fear. 3-1 the count. The pitch from Glenn. Outside, ball four. The bases will be loaded with nobody out for Jaden Knight. And there's the DH tonight. Glenn in some trouble here in the second. Surrounded by base runners. Nobody out. Just got to put one in play. Try and put the Spartans on top. Glenn set, first pitch tonight. Bounces in there, ball one. It's a 
checked his swing, but fouled it off. Strike one. Even count at one and one. Swung on, missed. Foul tipped. The glove, strike two. It's now Knight into a one two count. The pitch from Glenn. Way up high. Ball two. Two balls and two strikes tonight. <coughs> and he calls time and will back out. Knight steps back in. Glenn set, both ready for the 2-2 pitch. Here it is. And it hits Knight on the shoulder. That'll bring in a run. But two walks and two hit by pitches. And the Spartans score the first run. Need to now one to nothing. Are they saying he didn't get out of the way? Are they saying he leaned into it? All right, so take that run off the board. It'll still be Knight up with a 2-2 count. It's the gesture the umpire was making. The Knight leaned into that with his, his elbow. So Knight back in there now. Glenn set. Another 2-2 on the way. There it is. Swung on, fouled away. Knight fights that one off. I called that one that he leaned into a ball, so it's 3-2 now. And that one low ball four. So we'll take the walk, and they'll get the run regardless. So now it is one nothing Spartans lead. So that will bring up Taylor. Still nobody out. First pitch to Taylor. Take him in there for a strike. No balls and a strike to Taylor is the pitch. That's low ball one. Glenn still surrounded by Spartans on the bases. Still looking for the first out of the inning. Taylor trying to knock in a couple more Spartan runs. There's the 1-1. One, one. The one that bounced in there, ball two. Catch her out to have a word with his pitcher, Glenn. one all three
three. One the count, outside, ball four. Back-to-back -back walks, and then a walk and another run. Excuse me, that's three straight walks. We'll make it a two-nothing ball game. And Westlake coach out to have a word with Glenn, and we'll bring out James, who walked back in the first. So I don't know if Glenn's going to get removed here. I haven't seen any... Action in the Westlake bullpen. Now this one cycled back to the top of the order. James, a dangerous hitter. The base is loaded, nobody out. Well, they're definitely sending somebody out there now. Glenn will stay in the game. They're sending DJ McKinnon, the DH, out there. Well, it looks like he's heading out there. Kind of just waiting by the gate. He's waiting for a catcher. But the meeting disperses. And James, the lefty, will dig in. Base is loaded. Spartans up two to nothing. Glenn set. There's the pitch. Taken. Strike one. Outside, ball one. One one on the way. Swung on, hit in the air, out to left. Getting ready to tag is Lamphere. The catch is made. Lamphere heading to the plate. The throw rolls into the infield, and Lamphere scores without any play at the plate. Successful out for James as it is three to nothing on the sack fly by Joel James. As Lamphere darts in from third to score. We'll bring up Lightsy now. No runners at first and second. One down now. The strike. The first pitch to Lightsey. The 0 1 lights, he squares around a bunt, puts it down. The runners take off. They'll go to first with it, and then it'll be in time to get Lightsey for out number two. But a productive out as both the runners move up. And now there's once again two runners in scoring position. There's two down now to bring up Losser. One of the two Spartan hits. A single back in the first, deflected off of Clint's. Hip, I think it was, or his leg, it was somewhere on his leg. Now, Blosser stands back in. It's Knight leading from third, Taylor from second. Two down now. Outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. Swung on, out to center. Going to get down for a base hit. One run is in. Taylor will stop at third. And Blosser will stop at first. Two out, single. Brings in another run. Four nothing, Spartans. Blosser, two for two. And I'll bring up Grantham, who also has a hit. A uh, single. The end of the first was trying to turn it into double into a double. 
I got thrown out at second trying to do so. Now he hits here and runners at the corners, two outs. We're going to tack on more insurance. Swung on, hit to third. Third baseman up with it. Throw across the diamond. Scoop over at first. And they're going to get Grantham for out number three. So Spartans get four. And the bottom of the second, make it a four to nothing lead. Led to the third. Boomer done back to work on the mound. When we get back right after this. to Latanzi Field for the top of the third. Spartans with a 4 nothing lead. Off a good offensive bottom of the second. And Boomer Nunn trying to keep up his success through the first two innings here in the third. It'll be Smith, the right fielder, to, leave it, to lead it off for the Lions. After him will be Elias Gandy, the catcher, and will go back to Naeem Foster at the top of the order. So Smith digs in. Excuse me, it's Morrison. Forgot that he, I don't know the last inning ended on the bases, so it'll be Morrison to lead it off, and then it'll be Smith. So Morrison with a refresh of his count. First pitch, a ball. Second pitch, a ball. It's now 2-0 on Morrison. Two balls and no strikes. Done comes set. Rain still falling. Uh, that one outside, it looked like three balls, no strikes. And four pitch walk to Morrison to start the third. A base runner board here for Westlake. Now it'll bring up Smith. Runner on, nobody out. Smith, the lefty, digs in. First pitch to Smith. Upstairs, ball one. Want to know to Smith. Couple looks to the runner Morrison. And Smith swings and fouls that one back. Strike one.
made it one one count. Morris in a pretty good lead from first. Get a couple of weeks from Dunn. Fakes like he's taking off now, shuts it down. Ball two. That one was high. Two one to Smith now. Big off throw to Morrison over at first. He's back in safely. Two balls and one strike. Another pickoff over to first, and I got him. Another out on the bases. That erases Morrison. One down, nobody on. Well, Smith now, different situation. Still a 2-1 count now. Here's the pitch from Dunn. Squares around a bunt. Missed the bunt. Strike two. So two two on Smith. Swung on. Club that one foul to the right side. And a reach in on the inside. It was a pretty good. Plays pitch low and inside. One of the things Smith could do is fight it off. Still 2 2. I went too far inside and a little bit low. 3 2. Don't try to blow a fastball by Smith. The full count. Payoff on the way. Got him swinging. Strike three. Down on strikes is Smith for out number two. I'll bring up the catcher, Elias Gandhi. Base is empty, two outs. Pitch from Dunn to Gandy outside. Ball one. One up high, ball two. Two O to the a slate catcher. Pitch from Dunn on the way. That one's low ball three. Three O. -oh. Ball four. Another four pitch walk. And the base runner back on for the Lions. I'm going to back up to the top of the order to Hubbard, who replaced Naeem Foster, excuse me, before his at bat even finished. Hubbard, a strikeout victim, although inherited a unfortunate count. He had came into the game already given two strikes. So 
So Hubbard, the runner on two outs. Pinch runner in. Dunn comes set. First pitch to Hubbard. In there, bottom of the zone, strike one. No balls and a strike. One left upstairs, ball one. Pinch runner over there for the catcher, Grant Bartell. Even 1-1 one, one count now. Bartell gets his lead. Dunn comes set. There's a 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground, out to second. Lightsey with it. Going to take it to the second base bag himself. There in time, out number three. There go the Lions in the third, still a 4 nothing. Campbell lead. Bottom of the third when we get back right after this. Welcome back to Latanzi Field for the bottom of the third. 4 nothing. Campbell Lee. Rain continuing to hammer down, trying to get through half of this. So if the game were to be called, we can end it instead of postpone it. Have to get through the fourth, I believe, for that. Fourth or the fifth. I don't remember. Alex Johns to lead it off for the Spartans. First pitch from Glenn to Johns. Outside ball one. First uh, one oh skied into right. Right fielder coming in. Throws up the glove, makes the catch for out number one. I'll bring up Milo Kennedy. Hit by a pitch in his last plate appearance. First pitch to Kennedy. Ball one. There's a 1 0. -oh. Another one that skips in there. Ball two. Hey, 
two. Oh, swung on, missed by Kennedy. Strike one. That one sent down the line to the right side. Foul. So 2-2 two -two on Kennedy now. Kennedy finally steps back in. And 2-2 two -two from Glenn on the way. Hit in the air to right. Pretty much same spot that Johns hit it, maybe just a little bit further back. And glove thrown up by Smith. He makes back-to-back -back putouts, and there's two down now. We'll bring up Lamphere. Walked in his first plate appearance. Came in, scored a run, too, off a sack fly by Joel James. Now it's bases empty, two outs. First pitch to Lamphere. Outside and low, ball one. one oh, here's the pitch. Swung on, sliced to the left side, foul. Strike one. I don't even one-one count on Lamb Fear. I'll wait for somebody to go get that ball out there. We're good now. Oh, almost. Waiting, waiting. Get back to the dugout. Now we're good. There's a one-one. Swung on fouled away. One-two. One, two, down to Lamphere. There's the pitch. Bounces in there. Ball two. Two, two. Up and away. Three, two. Not another full count. Beer draws the count out, looking to reach three two, swung on, fought it off. Three two, full count. Another payoff from Glenn on the way. And it bounces up in there. And Pierre draws another walk. It's reached twice via base on balls. And he's aboard with two down now. It'll bring him Knight, who also walked. Well, base running aboard now with two outs. Rain still falling. It's visible out on the field. Huge spots of mud. Especially round a couple of feet back of where Knight is standing and a couple of feet left to where the shortstop is standing. The first pitch fouled away. Strike one. Hopefully can just They'll push through. A one. And it hits Knight. This time they'll give him the free pass. Last time I did by pitch, they said he leaned into it. But nope. This time says he'll get the base. Now two on and two down. Nobody out in the pen. Well, Westlake trying to ride Glenn as long as they can. 
Long week ahead. It's only game one. Trying to avoid bringing in another pitcher here in only the third inning. It'll be Taylor. Walked last time as well. First pitch to him. Upstairs. Ball one. And if you're in scoring position now. That one also too high. Ball two. Gandy out to talk with Glenn, his pitcher. Just try and calm him down. Should Taylor reach the line, it will cycle back to the top and James. He's got two walks. Excuse me, got a walk and a sack fly. Two oh. Glenn set. Swung on, hit out to left. That one's over the left fielder's head and down. One run is going to score Lamphere. Knight into third. He'll hold up there. And it'll be a two-out double for Nathan Taylor as another run comes across the score, making a 5-1 to one Campbell lead. Taylor got a hold of that one. Right over the left fielder's head. Second and third now for James with two down. Martin's trying to tag on a few more here. First pitch from Glenn. Ooh. Outside corner. Strike one. No balls and a strike to James. Set is Glenn. Here's the pitch. Chopped. Foul. Over the right side. Strike two. Quickly 0-2. The Campbell center fielder. Glenn set. Another 0 2. That's high. Ball two. Ball one. Excuse me. One, two now. Pitch on the way. Fought off by James. <clears throat> Still one, two. Glenn set. Here's the pitch. Outside. Ball two. Even 2-2 two -two count now. Glenn set. Fires it in. The one fouled away by James. The one that's going to get out of play. Ooh. Just a scary collision over there. One off the fence. Third baseman almost went head first into the into said fence. He looks to be okay. Two two. We count to James now. Glenn set. Outside, 3-2. And Taylor was way off the bag. And now they got him in a rundown. Oh, he was... I don't know if that was orchestrated. He was halfway to third. Well, more than halfway to third. 
Another out on the base pass for round number three. Well, there go the Spartans. They get one more. They get a five to nothing ball game. We'll get back for the fourth right after this. Back to Latenzi Field, top of the fourth, five nothing Camel lead. Boomer Dunn still working on the mound. Got a got a quick little. Mud puddle got a fill here. We're ready to go here. I'll patch up the mound a little bit too. Rain's been falling since the second. Seeing the effects of that here now. It'll be a moment before we're set to go here. Put the headset until we're ready. Thank you. 
here at Campbell's Spartans would like to send a couple more shout outs to some really great community sponsors, including Pyatel Insurance, Breezeway Disposal, Vickery Ace Hardware, Baker Paint with Carlos Ramirez, Laughing Tracy Photography, including sports photography, Eric Allen, who is running for Cobb County. Arnaldo San Martin Real Estate. Allison Thomas Real Estate. Mustin Turners and MTH Pizza. Brilliant Eyes Vision Center at the Belmont in Smyrna. And George Gillis. So about seven or something patches of fresh dirt later, we're finally ready to go. Cedric Lankford will lead it off on the top of the fourth. A five nothing Campbell lead. Got to get through at least through the top of the fifth. This game to be official. If Rain were to persist, this pitch to Lankford, a strike. The 0-1 hit out to center, and that one's going to drop in front of James. So a leadoff hit for Langford, and he's aboard. And I'll bring up McKinnon. Runner aboard, nobody out for the Lions. Squares round, shows bunt. Taylor comes in, McKinnon pulls back. It's going to be a strike. Doesn't show this time. Pulls back, that's a ball. Now 
on Wonder McKinnon. That one there. Called strike two. Fastball on the outside corner. One, two to McKinnon. Down the set. Kickoff attempt over to first. Runner back in safely. I won two. On McKinnon. And time called. Kind of jumped out of the way. Good thing he did. I guess Don wasn't ready for it. He had that ball slip out of his hands. Now back to work. One and two. Got him. Swinging strike three. Two down. One down, excuse me. Out number one, a strikeout of McKinnon. I'm going to bring up Bryce Thomas. Down for Thomas now. That runner still leading. From first. Down comes set. Runner takes off. Swung on. Hit out to right. Kennedy going back. Still going back. And makes the catch over his head. Runner will get back to first in time. But a good catch by Kennedy. Let me out number two. That will bring up Ports in the center fielder. Well, two down now. See if they don't try and steal from first again. Runner had to retreat. The catch by Kennedy. First pitch to Fortson. Line back out to center. I'm going to get down for a base hit. Runner turns the bag at second, but stays there. A two out single. I'll let me two on now. I'm going to the first baseman, Arnold. Run comes set. First pitch to Arnold. Swung on miss. Big swing and a miss by Arnold. Swung right through it. Strike one. O one. 1 Done set. Just outside. Ball one. Even count at one and one. Done readies. Couple of looks to second. Here's the pitch. Way outside. Two one. Two one. On, fouled away. Two 
to two. Runner takes off for a third, and they got him in a rundown. The second time Dunn's got a runner like that. He flipped to Blosser, and he's going to chase him down. That's going to be out number three. More trouble on the base pass for the Lions. And there they go offensively in the fourth. Still a 5 nothing ball game. To the bottom of the fourth. Barnes back up to bat right after this. Bottom of the fourth, new pitcher, nope, same pitcher, it's still Glenn on for the Lions. It'll be James to lead it off for the Spartans. James has walked and hit a sack fly. First pitch outside. Ball one. About half the frames tonight have ended with an out that came on the base pass. Just a high volume of subpar base running tonight for both teams. That one bounced in there, ball two. Got to tighten that stuff up, especially this close to the playoffs starting soon. Only about a week away. Here's a 2 0. Ball three. <clears throat> three balls and no strikes to James. Pitch from Glenn. That one's in there for a strike. James taking all the way. Swung on, out, and past the reach of the shortstop in the center field. A leadoff hit for Joel James. He's aboard. It'll bring up Lightsey. James now aboard at first, lights the in. Glenn set, James takes off, pitch inside, throw down to second, is past both the second baseman and shortstop. Back up by the center fielder though. But James in there with an easy stolen base. Pitch to lights, he was a ball.
Uh, Glenn calls his catcher, Gandy, to the mound. It's just a quick word. Might have some trouble with sequencing or signs. Seems they're on the same page now. Hit, chop to third. Thomas up with it. Throw to first is high. It gets away. Lights going to stay at first. James will move up to third. And I think that's going to be an error. Given the throw went right over the first baseman's head. And now they're at the corners now and nobody out. They'll bring up Blosser, who is two for two. Two singles on the night. And that might be it for Glenn, and yes, it will be. He departs in the fourth. No outs given, though. So he only goes three innings with four runs. Five runs, excuse me, and five hits. And that'll be all. The new pitcher to be brought in by Westlake is the DH, DJ McKinnon. He'll just go from DH to the mound. So he'll get his warm-ups, and we'll be back when he's ready to go. So McKinnon has finished his warm-ups, and he is set to take over the pitching duties on the mound for the Lions. Blosser is up. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Barnes a chance to add on to their 5 nothing lead. McKinnon set. First pitch to Blosser. Hit. Straight up in the air. Second baseman there calling for it and will make the catch for the first out. The runners all stay put. One down. I'll bring up Grantham. He's one for two. Single for him. First pitch to Grantham, and there for a strike. Zero one. It's high ball one. Runner takes off for second, and no throw. What's he going to get there easily? Two of them in scoring position now. Again, need to talk with McKinnon real quick. Quick word. One one. 
to Grantham. Now McKinnon steps off. Wants his signs again. Now he's got it. Dump set. Here's a 1 1. Low ball two. Gets away from the catcher, but not far enough where James can break for the plate. He stays at third. 2 1 on Grantham now. Now, time called by Grantham. We'll step out. Infield playing on the grass, all of them. So, probably coming home. Should a ground ball come to them and James break for a home. Two one pitch. It's low ball three. Three one pitch. Hit high in the air. Foul territory. Thomas is there to the dugout. And then a land in the dugout. Out of play. It'll be a full count. Full count, payoff on the way. Low, ball four. We'll load the bases. I'm going to bring up Alex Johns. Grantham will get pinch run four. Be McQuaid who runs for him. So James leads from third. Lightsey from second. McQuaid from first. John's on the ground to third, and that one's going to be foul. Strike one to John's. A one pitch, hit in the air to right. Right fielder Smith slows up and makes the catch for the third, for the second out. Excuse me, one run is in. Everybody tagging. Thought there were two outs. So a run does come across, and James will make it six to nothing. All the runners advance. Productive out for Johns as James scores. Pardon me. Thought that was the third out. Now there's two down. I'll bring up Kennedy. We're going to add on even more for the Spartans. First pitch from McKinnon to Kennedy. There's a ball inside. 6 nothing Spartan lead. Low ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Kevin steps off. Two oh pitch. Ooh. Catching the outside corner. Strike one. That spot's been iffy all night. That outside. 
part of the zone. Pitch is closer than that. Called the ball. That one bounces away. Runner breaking for the plate. And Lightsey's in there safely, 7 to nothing. It's a 3 1 count now. And now it's just McQuaid on the bases by himself at third. Three one, all four. Two out walk. We'll be at the corners for Lamphere. Who has walked twice? Fresh pitch to Lamphere, inside ball one. Oh no, swung on, hit on the ground, do second. Second baseman up with it, flip to first in time for the third and final out, and down go the Spartans in the fourth. We will head to the fifth, seven nothing the score now. Top of the fifth when you get back right after this. Top of the fifth. All Spartans here, seven to nothing. Arnold will leave it off, lead it off for the Lions. And Boomer Dunn still pitching. Coming set, first pitch to Arnold here in the fifth. There it is. Skied straight up. Will it stay in play for somebody to make a play on it? And it will be Taylor who will. One pitch, one out. Good play by Taylor. Good communication between him and Grantham. And one down as Arnold fouls out. We'll bring up Justice Morris in the second baseman. Done set. First pitch to Morrison. Outside corner, strike one. Zero one, outside. Ball one.
zoom on one. Outside corner. Ooh, another one. Outside corner is just kind of a toss up. There's been pitches closer than that called a ball, and there's been pitches further than that called strikes. Some consistency out there on at least that end. Everywhere else has been pretty consistent. That one's too far out, ball two. Is the 2 2. Sliced foul. Morrison fights it off just to stay alive. Still 2 2. Sun has been pitching, pitching pretty good so far. Looking to continue as Morrison fouls it off again. Done set. Another 2-2, two, two. here it is. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Strikeout for out number two here in the fifth. And it will bring up Smith, the right fielder. Going to get out of the fifth without any trouble. Gone is. Two outs the way there. First pitch to Smith, inside and low, ball one. Swung on, foul back. Even 1-1 one, one count. That one looked a bit too low, ball two. Two one, done set. Another one filed away to two the count now. Two, two count to Smith, done set. Just above the belt, here's the pitch. Ooh, just missed inside, ball three. That was close. Now 3-2, full count, done coming set. Payoff on the way. Chopped to first, Johns boots it, done there, and gonna flip it. That's a good play by Boomer, done for out number three. To be there as the backup for Johns, who booted the original ground ball. Who makes the catch from the flip from Dunn? Four out, number three, and down one, two, three. Go the Lions in the fifth. We'll head to the bottom. Seven nothing. Kim a lead. Right after this.
Bottom of the fifth. One bet is back up. Rain has subdued the field, not in too terrible condition, so we'll trudge on. Top of the fifth, the point of the game being official if it were to get rained out. But we'll continue on for a little bit more. Jaden Knight will lead it off for the Spartans. McKinnon still pitching for the Lions. So Knight to lead it off here. McKinnon from the windup, the first pitch to Knight. Outside ball one. That one inside, ball two. Two of the count to Knight. Pitch from McKinnon. That one's in there for a strike. Two one hit on the ground to third. Third baseman Thomas there. Throw across the first in time for out number one. Taylor up now. This is empty. Nobody out. Taylor up now. First pitch from McKinnon. It out to left. Similar spot to last time, but this one not going to get over the left fielder's head. He'll make the catch for round number two. I'm going to bring up Joel James. He has a walk, a sack fly, and a base hit. First pitch to James. And then for a strike, don't know if it was a location or he went around on the check. Either way, a strike one. I want to miss through that one. Strike two. Down front. Now 0 2 to James. Skied high in the air, the right side of the field, right fielder coming in, second baseman going back, it'll be the right fielder, Smith, there to make the catch for the third and final out, one, two, three, go the Spartans in the fifth, we'll head to the sixth, still a seven, nothing Spartan lead, when we get back right after this.
Tansy Field. Top of the sixth. Elias Gandy to lead it off. Boomer Dunn out for another inning. He's been pretty good thus far. First pitch a strike. A one swung on, fouled. It's going to be slow roller. Taylor up with it. Going to just try to heave it. Looked like it bounced off of him. And are they saying base hit? No, they're saying foul ball. Looks like it hit off his foot. Again, you will go back to first. Giving a strike. So 0 2 on the Westlake catcher. Done. I'm set. 0 2 pitch. Here it is. Fouled away. Andy fights it off. This one chopped foul to the right side. And still 0-2 to Gandy. Still 0-2 to Gandy. One missed outside, ball one. Done, set, E, one, two. Another one filed away. Still one, two, Gandy making a good fight. Another one filed off. Again to the right side. Rain has started coming back down again. This time much lighter, however. One ball, two strikes. This one hit in play. It'll be Kennedy out there and right. We'll set under it and make the catch for out number one. Cycle back to the top to Hubbard, who's 0 for 2. First pitch to Hubbard and there for a strike. No balls in a strike. Done. Come set. That one's up high. Ball one. a 1-1. One, one. Low ball two.
Chopped to the right side. John's coming in, waiting for Lightsey to cover the bag, and he couldn't get, he's going to hang on to the ball. And I don't know. Hubbard was just signal out. I think he might have made a move towards second base, and they got the tag on him before he got back to first. So he's down. Because it looked like Lightsey had picked up the ball and tagged him. And the umpire signaled safe, and then he flipped it to Johns, who tagged it before he got back to the base. So either that means Lightsey missed the tag, or in the action of tagging, that's when Hubbard was considered making a move to second base. Nonetheless, base is empty two down. I'll bring up Langford. First pitch to him, a pie it looks like. Ball one. Rain starting to pick up again. And ball no strikes. Strike one taken by Langford. There's a one one swung on and missed. Strike two. One, two, done, set, did he go? And they say he did, a strike out of Langford for the third out of the sixth. It led to the bottom of the sixth, still 7 nothing. Spartan lead, and we get back right after this. the sixth. Spartans one more inning to try and tack on some more or trying to shut it down in the seventh. Light Sea Blosser Grantham do up. Starting with Light Sea. I see leading it off. Oh. And first pitch swung on, fouled away. Select it off of you. And one in the other batter's box. Ball one. Mm -hmm. 
A strike two. Long throw by Lightsey. He's down to his last strike. Losser will follow him. Lightsey calls time, backs out. One, two. A little too high. Ball two. And even 2-2 two -two count now. Swung on, hit high to left. Fielder maybe took a couple steps to his left and will make the catch for out number one. I'll bring up Blosser. Those two hits, two singles on the night. That and a pop out for him. In line offensively, looking to continue it here in the sixth. Gonna get a third hit. Got a car with his headlights on out in the parking lot. Got to get those lights shut off before we can go. See it there. There we go. Now we're good to go. So Blosser will dig in now, ready for the first pitch. McKinnon will deliver to him, and it's base hit number three on the night for Blosser. He continues his hitting ways with a one-out single. That will bring up Johns. Oh, Grantham, excuse me. Grantham with some hits tonight as well. One on, one out. First pitch to him, a ball. I went to the backstop. Losser takes off for second. He's going to get there safely. 2-0 to Grant now. Got away from McKinnon quite a bit. Now Blosser stands in scoring position. 2-0 count to Grantham. Inside, ball three. Three balls and no strikes to the Campbell catcher. Taking all the way is Grantham as strike one. Three one chopped foul over to the left side. So full count to Grantham now. McKinnon set. Payoff on the way. Ball four. He'll take first. It'll be two on, one out. Oh, now it'll bring up Johns. Grantham will get a runner. It'll be McQuaid again. Oh, 
First pitch to Johns, hit out too short. Chance to turn two for the Lions, throw to second. Got one there, on to first. Double play, and that'll end the inning for the Spartans in the sixth. So there goes the sixth. They leave one runner on, still seven to nothing. We'll head to the seventh. Spartans looking to close it out when we get back right after this. Seventh, three outs left for the Spartans to get. They lead 7 0 over the Westlake Lions. Boomer Dunn's day of work on the mound is done, and it was a pretty good day for him. Went six innings, giving up four hits, no runs, a couple of walks, and a good number of strikeouts to go along with that. Drew Domer will do the seventh for the Spartans. And get these final three outs. And hopefully end game one of the series with a win. So, Omar... In his warm up sin. You mentioned this being game one of the series. Game two is tomorrow night at Westlake. We won't be with you for that one. We will be with you game three, however, Friday night, which is back here. And then, of course, that following morning, Spartans. Head to Truist Park to play a game against Tip Terra Academy on Saturday morning. It's the last game of the regular season, and I believe it is next week that the playoffs begin. It is McKinnon who's now come into the game as the pitcher. Will lead it off for the Lions in the seventh. Now number 12, is McKinnon. So McKinnon be the first batter Dolmer faces. He digs in. Now steps out. Swing for Blosser to tighten his shoe out there at short. Now we're ready. Elmer from the windup, first pitch to McKinnon. That one low, ball one. Spiked up in there in the dirt before the plate. One other count to McKinnon. One ball, no strikes. That one's too high, ball two. So now two balls. Upstairs three. I know. I'm trying to get a quick wipe down of the ball. Rain's still falling here. 
That one's picked up only the last half inning or so. That one's in there for a strike. Three one pitch. Swung on miss. Strike two. Uh, Domer's on from 3-0 to McKinnon to a full count now. Payoff on the way. Fouled away. Still 3-2. Here is the pitch, and bounced up in there, ball four. And Grantham can't find the ball, Lee finally gets it down. McKinnon's gonna be held. At first, so a lead off walk to McKinnon. We'll bring up Thomas. So McKinnon aboard at first, and Thomas digs in. Domer coming set. First pitch, bounces away. McKinnon's going to move up to second. So we're having some control issues here. There's a couple of them. He spiked up in there. And Grant's about to calm Domer down, maybe. One zero to Thomas. McKinnon leads from second. Another one bounced up in there. Ball two. A 2 0. This one on, hit foul. On the ground to the left side, strike one. Uh, Westlake coach running out to get that ball. Now he'll sprint back. Now we're good to go. 2-1 to Thomas. Domer looks McKinnon back. McKinnon, not a big lead over there at second. There's a 2-1. One. Another one bounce in there, 3-1. There's the 3-1 in there, taken for strike two, and now another full count. Back-to-back -back hitters, Domer's taking the full counts. He didn't get McKinnon, let's see if he can get Thomas here. Come set. Quick look at McKinnon, payoff pitch. Oh, just outside. Ball four, that one was in that. 
kind of zero zone I was talking about earlier. Could have gone either way. And our back to back walks to our board now. Chris will have to talk to Domer. And Fort's in the center field are now up two on. And nobody out. Homer sets first pitch. There's low. Again, runners advance. Throw to third. I think they got him. Oh, they say he's safe. Man, they look like they had McKinnon beat. Must have got around the tag. Excellent cargo out to plead his case. Uh, I mean, it looked like they had McKinnon dead to daylight. You can only imagine that he got around the tag with some type of move. And Jackson Cargo will return to the dugout. So two in scoring position now with nobody out. And one ball, no strikes to Fortson. Throw over to first to get the runner back. Now time call him. And umpire have a word with his crew, his home plate umpire. Can't see what they're looking at or talking about. Three umpires converge now. And I think they called Dolmer for a balk. I did call Domer for a bug. So that will bring in the first Westlake run, make it seven to one, and then runner at first will move to second. I guess they're saying Domer never stepped off to make the move to first. That's the reaction he had. It's kind of signaling emotion. I was like, hey, I stepped off. Jackson Cargo back out for a second straight play. Plead his case. I think as long as Cargill argues this, it's still going to be 7-1. to one. I think Cargill just got tossed out of the game.
So, yeah, I think Cargill just got ejected from the game here in the at top of the seventh inning. So he's going to have to leave come all the way to the parking lot. Are writing on his card now. So Cargo vacates the dugout. And now I don't know what we're writing down. All the umpires writing something down. Now we look like we're good. Now I think we're ready to get back to action here. 1 0 count. Runner at second, nobody out. Seven to one, Campbell lead. The batter is Fortson. The pitcher is Delmer, and the runner at second is Thomas. Delmer coming set. The one zero. High ball two. Runner will move up to third. Two zero to Fortson. High ball three. Three zero pitch, and high ball four. Three straight walks for the Lions. Now they got them at the corners. Chris Law out again. And I think he's coming out to get Domer from the game. After facing only three batters, with three straight walks, walked in a run. Barnes will go to Connor Mason. Will now come in to try and shut it down. So we'll let Mason do his warm ups and be back after that. Mason just finishing his warm up tosses. We runners at the corners. Nobody out. Batter will be the first baseman, Arnold.
Mason set to get to work here in the seventh. Arnold digs in. Mason, a quick look at both runners. Come set. Time call just to reposition one of the umpires. Now we're ready to go. Mason set. First pitch, swung on, missed, strike one. One to Arnold. Neil one pitch from Mason. That's low, ball one. Even one, one count now. Mason readies. Swung on, chopped, foul to the left side. One, two. It's Arnold now. Frank enough to have a word with his pitcher, Mason. Not strategy, maybe? Now grant them back behind the plate. Mason stares down as his sign comes set. One, two, pitch. Just high, ball two. Now back even at two and two now. Mason looks for and back to first. Quickly comes set again to two. Low ball three. At least I think it was low. Full count to Arnold now. Mason set. Hey, off on the way. Wow, the way. Arnold fights it off. Just stays alive to see another pitch. Time called by Arnold. He steps out. Now back in. Mason ready. Another 3 2 on the way. Line foul to the left side. Mason coming set, a third straight payoff. Here it is, another one filed away. Looks like Arnold was trying to call time. It was before Mason started his delivery, was not granted. 
Like he was just able to foul that one off. A fourth straight 3 2 pitch. And he's going to hit Arnold. That'll put him on, and the bases are going to be loaded. We'll bring up the second baseman, Morrison. Mason surrounded by base runners now. Still no outs. Swing set. First pitch to Morrison. Low ball one. One oh pitch in there taken. Strike one. Now an even one one count. Mason sets. There's the pitch. Swung on a miss by Morrison. Strike two. Mason steps off. Now back on. Ready. Has his pitch. One, two on the way. Swung on and missed. Strike three and a strikeout. Route number one. As Morrison is set down swinging. And I'll bring up the right fielder, Daryl Smith. And down here finally in the seventh. Number four, right fielder, Daryl Smith. Smith, the lefty, steps in. Thomas needs from third, Fortson from second. Arnold from first, first pitch. There's a ball. Bounces away, but not far enough away. Thomas stays at third. One no pitch from Mason. Too high, ball two. Two and out of Smith. One on high, three and oh. Three oh count. To Mason. Lightsy runs in. Gives Mason a quick word. Now run back to his spot at second base. Three balls and no strikes to Smith. Mason set. That went in there for a strike. Three won the count now. That one line foul on the right side. A 
Rain has still been picking up. I wonder if maybe Mason's having some grip troubles. Domer appeared like he was. He went to Taylor, who has a towel in his back pocket a couple times. To wipe the ball down. Mason's appeared okay thus far, though. In terms of needing ball to be wiped down. And a 3-2 count to Smith now. Another full count, Mason said. Payoff pitch, time called. Three, two comes at him quickly. On the outside corner, strike three. Got him looking. Mason using Mitt's timing to his advantage. And that's strike three. Elias Andy, the catcher, the last hope for the Lions. Still bases loaded, two down. The smart move by Mason. His motion is he has a long pause, kind of like this. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air. Right center. Kennedy there. Catch is made for out number three. And that is the ball game. Final score, 7-2-1. Gamble beats Westlake in game one of this series. And overall, good vision at the plate. Drew a lot of walks tonight. Got some good hits. William Blouser with three hits on the night. And Boomer Dunn, of course, with another masterful performance on the mound. He looked like his dominant self tonight. Uh, six innings of scoreless ball. Uh, those two guys propelled the Spartans' 7-1 to victory in game one of this series. Game two, once again, tomorrow at Westlake. We will not be there for that game. But game three, however, on Friday, back here at Latanzi, we'll be here for that. So make sure to tune in. But for now, that's all from us, from the Spartan Sports Network. I'm Nicholas Galazzo signing off. Good night, folks.